What's up, guys? NBA talk, July 25th, uh, Tuesday basketball for you. We're going to jump right into it. The Cavaliers saga continues. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, the Cavaliers situation still raging on. The Pretty much the collapse of the Cleveland Cavaliers who have been to the NBA Finals three straight times in a row ever since LeBron James came back. Now, it seems like it's pretty much the end of this era of the Cavaliers already. It's tough, man. It's tough, uh, especially for the Cavaliers fans. The, I know you guys are probably livid, pissed off about this situation. Like, a, you had a good thing, and looks like it's most likely it's going to end bad. Um, so, Kyrie Irving wanted a trade. He wanted to be traded from Cleveland. He wants to be his own man in a different city, a different team. LeBron James is not not happy at all. He's disappointed. He's frustrated. He's angry. Um, it, it's just it's getting worse because people are just focusing on it. And people are just reporting, 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 reporting. We don't know what is real, what is not. Like, for instance, I believe yesterday it happened. There was a report. LeBron James has stated, well, it's being said that LeBron James might be tempted tempted to run up on Kyrie Irving like if he ever sees him he might end up beating him up that is that's hilarious because I know LeBron James would not be that stupid to let that out he is not that stupid to let something like that happen because he's worried about his brand his branding is everything for him and no way in hell he's going to tarnish that brand by doing something like this or even saying something like this. So I don't really believe this rumor about him. But one thing for sure is being stated about LeBron James. And this is why this situation is on LeBron James for sure. A lot of people are saying this. I'm saying this. A majority part of this situation is LeBron James. Because the one thing he's not doing is speaking up for himself. The rumors, the reports are pretty much doing it for him. Um, people are saying that he's leaving Cleveland. He has not said nothing yet. He's not doing any recruiting. He's not seeing anything. Um, Kyrie Irving wanting a trade from Cleveland. He wants to leave LeBron James. LeBron James is not saying a word. Not a word. We haven't heard anything from his camp yet. This is all rumors, all reported from different articles. A lot of people are coming up with the same conclusion. So it might be true because you're not saying anything. LeBron James is not saying anything. If he has said something by now, maybe things could be more better for him, more cleared up. But it isn't. It is not. And now you have this rumor where LeBron James is being stated as someone who's going to run up on Kyrie Irving, basically, if he sees him. Which is crazy, man. Like, he, LeBron James is not stupid. He is not stupid to tarnish his legacy, tarnish his branding so bad. Like, this late in his career, in, in, the, in, this, in his part of his career, where he's going to be starting to brand himself... For the future, so I don't I don't get this rumor, but at the same time, LeBron James is not saying anything, so everybody's going to be thinking that is true. He needs to speak up. I, I, honestly, I don't even think if he speaks up now, it's that it's it's at a point where it looks like it's going to be employed. Like there's no point of staying in Cleveland now. There's no point of staying in Cleveland. Your right-hand man wants to be gone. And it's being stated that he, he's actually serious. He wants to be gone. The camp are saying that he's he's gone. He's going to be leaving. Uh, whether he leaves by free agency or they trade him. That's why he's saying trade me now. So that way you get a lot from him. So that's an easy win for Cavaliers. And they're, they're right now in the works with a trade with the Suns and the Knicks. Which will send... Carmelo to Cleveland 
uh, Bledsoe from the Phoenix Suns to Cleveland. And um, Kyrie Irving goes to Phoenix. Oh, no, I don't think Phoenix. I think New York, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure where. But, hey. And let's hope this trade goes down. Because the the more time they spent on getting this trade done, the more likely they're going to get a trade done. Because people are not going to want... Uh, people are not going to give as much uh, to the Cavaliers. Uh, like around the last year of his contract. He has like two to three years on his contract. So... Well, actually, I think it's two years, yeah. Because it's been three years since his extension, so... You got to trade him. You got to trade Kyrie Irving right now. At this point, the Cavaliers are done. They're finished. You might as well try to get rid of these overpriced contracts. People who are completely useless in the finals, like Tristan Thompson, Iman Shumpert, J.R. Smith... You gotta get rid of these contracts. They're gonna pass they're gonna probably get rid of Channing Fry's contract out of there. Um It is what it is, man. So that's it. Uh this is probably gonna continue, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep informed myself, so peace.